Hey everybody, it's Rick in Tunisia. It's Thursday. I cannot believe it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I will not be really having a Thanksgiving dinner. It's perhaps I'll have turkey tonight. Turkey cutlets are very popular here. But um, it's Thursday. I can't believe that my trip is almost coming to an end. I've been gone almost two weeks. It seems ridiculous. It's, it, it snapped my, I snapped my fingers and the time just passed. But I had a great trip. Yesterday was a pretty arduous cycle day, but I did it. Not, I think I had a little help from a wind, but my speed was pretty good. I made it in only four and a half hours, something like that. And that includes some food stops, maybe closer to five hours, but it was about 72 miles. But I stopped at times. Actually, I left about 7.20. I got into the town at 10 to 12. So that's four hours and 20 minutes with several food stops. I had sandwiches with me. And this is Tozur. At one point, it was more popular and more powerful than the capital, Tunis, because like Dews, it has an oasis. The oasis here is not is just a little smaller than the one in Dews. And then the other one that's pretty big is in um, Gabez. But I was not in Gabez this time. I was very close. I've been, I bicycled to Gabez before. So these are, you see the palm trees, they're all oasis. I'm circling around. The sun is this way. This is a very busy street. Tourism is, tourism and dates are the main industry here. The dates are in harvest now. I met my friend Rhoda yesterday, the artist. I have two of her, three of her paintings, um, actually, and some smaller ones in my best, actually a total of about six of her paintings in my house. Um, but she said that the, tour, the, the date season this year was really bad. It didn't refer to the, the, pro, the produce, I mean, the actual, excuse me, the harvest. The harvest was actually fine. It was other issues because of the revolution, lacking water, sanitary conditions for storing and shipping. That was the problem. That, so even though the yield may have been okay, they weren't able to ship a lot of it, and that was a problem. So this town is suffering. But you could look at these people. They don't seem to be suffering. Just to give you a recap, October 23rd, there was an election. And the, it was a, basically, a, there were 23 people voted, 23 um, representatives, I guess you can call them senators. Commissioners, actually, is what they're called. 17 of them are Islamic, so the government is Islamic now. Which gives me a slight pause, but I don't think it's going to turn into a Khomeini government. It's going to be more like Turkey. Um, there's concern because the, the, the opposing party are the, are the modernists, and the modernists um, had a broader idea for Tunisia, integrating it into the world, whereas the Islamic people wanted to keep it more contained. So the fear is that now the, that technology will not be allowed here, but that's not what the Islamic necessarily are stating the Islamic party. It's more or less, as long as they follow a gentle constitution, right now the constitution is being written. And starting today they're going to choose, I believe today they'll choose a prime minister. Um, he will be Islamic. And hopefully not, nothing too much changes here, except for them. This is a country that's depended on tourism. And sometimes it's almost a slave to tourism, and hopefully that changes. They, they gain an independence. Tourism is always going to be important here. There's so many historical monuments, ruins. There are also historical ruins in Libya that are far superior. However, 
this is, uh, Libya has not been accessible to tourists for a long time. But Tunisia has, and it has grown dependent on tourism. But it, and it, it does not have the natural resources of Libya, no oil. But it does have good farmlands. It has, it has good um, fishing. A lot of coastal towns and fishing industry is big here. But what I'm told, fish is very expensive now. Everything is so expensive. But anyway, it's Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Rick signing out. Bye.